Imagine your home. What are your warmest memories? Do you remember your first steps? Or how you woke up seeing the cherry blossoms that you did and plaza plants under your window? Do you remember the smell of your mom's favorite buns? There are my sweet memories of my home, but it was taken away from me. Now I live in Kyiv, the capital of our common home, Ukraine. Hopefully this is temporary. I know this is temporary. Also, many children of my age probably dream of living here. I dream of getting back to my home as soon as possible. I'm 14, but I haven't been at home for six years. I was kicked out of school because I did not have Russian documents. I was denied medical assistance because I and my parents who announced Russian citizenship did not have an insurance policy. And so my aunts had to treat me at home. My family and I spent an infinite number of hours in the car on our way to Kyiv because we were constantly stopped by Russian traffic cops and then by the military, barred their guards and God knows who forced us to put our clothes out of the car. We were searched. My father was afraid that they would find money and wedding rings, that our belongings would be taken away from us, that we would left without money. I was afraid to cry. I just could not do it out of fear for myself, my mother and my sister. I was hugging her hidden her in my arms. She was only three years old. When I was nine, my father went to the war when he spent four years of his life. It was extremely difficult for me as our family was divided. The most important thing was taken away from us. Freedom. At that time, when we were traveling all over Ukraine, we met exactly the same people like us. The same people who left their homes dreaming of freedom. Hundreds of families, including mine, said goodbye to grandmothers, grandfathers, aunts, uncles, friends, cherry tree, Favorite park when we used to eat ice creams, or ride slides, or met our friends after school, and plenty of other things that we are dear for us. Perhaps someone is still expression, infringement, pressure, violence. Perhaps someone is being deprived of that very freedom for which we are all fighting. And now there are such people, and there are many of them. I just want to say one thing. You are not alone. We are with you. You are not alone. Don't give up on the way to your cherished goal. I hope my words will encourage you, will make you more confident, and will help you to find the most precious thing in our life, freedom. Thank you.